We're visiting all the stops along the JR Yamanote line. Next, Shinokubo. Welcome to Tokyo's Koreatown. This relatively small neighborhood is rather big in personality. And this train stop actually kicks off a series of popular areas in Tokyo. Walk out the station's only exit, and you'll be greeted to a fusion of Japanese and Korean culture. K pop, idol shop, hip hop, you name it, it's at this stop. Shin Okubo developed into a Korean neighborhood in the 1980s, and it's home to hundreds of businesses and restaurants. You want some good food? Visit this station. Let's check out an iconic food here the cheese dog. Deep fried cheese with a few variations. Crispy on the outside and deliciously melted cheese on the inside. Prepare for a wait, but it's only a couple dollars. All right, let's try one. Good. I see a lot of people putting ketchup and mustard on these. I like it plain, but I'll try with some ketchup. And it is pretty good with the ketchup and mustard. The nightlife here is great. It's a beautiful mix of culture. There are plenty of Korean themed grocery marts. And at the local Don Quixote, they sell a variety of Korean imported foods and goods. These snacks here are amazingly delicious. Japan is made up of about 99% Japanese people. And this area is great to get a taste of a different culture. Isomaru Suisan is a chain restaurant and a great place to enjoy some Korean barbecue. Now, here I ordered more Japanese themed food, but there are plenty of traditional Korean foods. I couldn't stop eating here, everything was so delicious. The grilled mochi was amazing. The fish was fresh. And I had to finish it off with a sashimi tuna bowl. Shinokubo should be near the top of your list when visiting Tokyo, especially to break up your trip a little bit and experience a different culture within Japan. Do yourself a favor and check this place out. You don't want to miss it. It really deserves another more in depth look on this channel in the future. Thanks for watching this week. Please consider subscribing. Especially since we're hitting a golden stretch along our tour. Next week, Shinjuku, the busiest station in Japan and possibly the world.